I greet you all in the name of the Creator, our merciful anointing. Today's date is the 5th of May 2018. The current time where I am is 1.15 a.m. I'm here first of all today to um, give an update concerning the um, timeline which is supposed to um well though i expected some uh something significant to kick off some mission to kick off on the first of may 2018 so i would like to say that uh, i believe uh, the mission has indeed begun and um it may not be well known now but I'm very sure by the time the almighty wishes or plans <coughs> it all shall be revealed so that's all I want to say about that and uh, also concerning the end of the fifth uh, hour and the beginning of the sixth hour which I'm looking forward to is on the 14th, 15th of uh, May 2018. There's a lot of uh, events coming up on that day. The Almighty knows best. Let's just watch and see. By the way, my main aim of making today's video is to share with you a horrific, horrific dream that I had this morning, 4th of May 2018. Um, let me start by uh, giving the title of the dream or prophecy. I believe it's a prophecy. It says, The Eyes Meet Eyes Event. That's what I was told in the dream. The eyes meet eyes event. So there was a particular scene where I kind of saw uh, George Bush like um, hiding uh, at a corner watching things happening. And uh, my sight was zoomed, was zoomed only to see two of his eyes, his two eyes actually, excuse me. I'm sure he has just two eyes for who knows. So my sight was zoomed in just to see his eyes like our, both, both of us uh, just looked at each other in the eyes. So when they, that was happening, this, the voice said, the eyes meet eyes event. So I'm going to go... Um, back and forth in this uh, uh, telling of the, uh, telling this dream because um, I'm not sure exactly how the conse consecutiveness of this uh, prophecy will be <coughs> so I'm just gonna uh, tell you what I remember and God willing he will explain to us uh, himself what the the prophecy or the dream actually means so there was a particular scenario i saw an elderly man uh playing with uh some unseen animals i was with some people we, we, we were looking at this uh, elderly person playing with some animals that we couldn't see he was the only one seeing them and uh there was a time he was uh, he was uh, feeding dinosaurs as in, at least what he was saying, he was feeding dinosaurs. We couldn't see these dinosaurs. He was just, you know, we thought it was, it was crazy because there was nothing there, but he was feeding them. And then he said, um, Obama has brought you back to us. I repeat that. He said, Obama has brought you back to us. So uh, after that particular scene, that was when I, my sight was uh, focused on uh, George Bush eyes, and then when I when that happened, I heard 
uh, Starbucks June 2018 Starbucks so then a horrific event began to happen to a core it seemed like some uh, some, some 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 ferocious animals uh, just uh, came out of nowhere some I can't even know. I don't, I don't know how to explain what I saw. Some I'm, I don't even know what I could how to describe them. They like came out from nowhere, from like hiding and started devouring humans, killing people. It was so horrific, extremely, extremely dangerous. I was shown that particular event as a vision as to what's coming, because I remember hearing. June 2018 Starbucks uh, no, um, if I'm not mistaken actually I think I have said uh, but I, I thought this was gonna, supposed to be in July and the voice says it's June something like that if I'm not mistaken then uh, then there was another uh, moment just during this particular time that it said Another voice or something said there was one week left to escape. Oh, no, no. I think it was my uh, understanding in the dream. Not like I heard the voice, but this particular part was like my understanding that there was just one week left to escape. So, that's another part. So, um, after I uh, understood that in the dream, maybe I was told, I can't even remember to be sure, to be honest. Um, that it's it's one week left to escape. I tried to wake up from the dream. I was trying really hard to get out from the dream. Just to I don't I didn't want to be in the dream. I didn't want to be there. So it was so terrifying. I tried my best to to get out, but I couldn't. My eyes were opening in in real life, but I couldn't just come out of the dream. I couldn't get out of the dream. It was like. Uh, I don't know. I was being forced to to to, to remain there, so it was like in, in I was seeing myself in a dream, trying to find water to to open my eyes because I tried to open my eyes, but it's just like a little power just got opened, and I couldn't just uh, get out of it. Till after a while, then I I finally woke up from it. It was so terrifying, and I don't know what um, what exactly. It's coming. I've actually uh, I've had a, a dream about uh, Obama and uh, Bush planning a horrific uh, attack. It's like uh, they de- they're gonna be detonating a, a volcano, uh, causing a Jaimonga's uh, disaster, a destruction, and uh, it could I don't know if it's volcano or earthquake and so on and so forth, tsunami. But they're gonna be causing some humongous uh, destruction. Blaming it on some sort of um, natural disaster or so, and then in that dream that I had, uh, I don't know how long ago, probably a year ago or so, they were even bold enough to tell people they did it. So I don't know what maybe this another confirmation to that dream. Just uh, believe I should share it. Maybe uh, someone it could be a confirmation to someone. So. Um, when I went back to dream, I had another dream, but I believe uh, I should keep that. That should be personal. So, thank you all for listening. God bless.